you everybody for joining us back here at the crypto company's channel we're sitting here once again with co-founder and chief executive officer of the company ron levy and ron previously we got to know you a little bit but today we want to dive deeper into the crypto company itself how are you doing are you ready to get into it yes i am and it's good to see you again michael thank you yeah yeah so coming back into it give me just the basic elevator pitch for the crypto company for those not yet aware of it uh, elevator pitch. I, 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 the structure of the company is we are a publicly traded company on OTC markets, OTC QB specifically. For those that don't know that, it's a you know higher level that that uh, um, in order to to get up listed there, which we did, you've got to be current on all your filings and and kind of get the big star of approval for transparency and accuracy. And we're pretty proud of that, so we've done that, and um, that's where we live structurally as a company. Um, we have two main business lines. Um, one of them is crypto mining, specifically Bitcoin mining. Mm -hmm. I love that we're part of that. Um, I personally am a big believer in not only Bitcoin itself, but what it started. And there's just a respectability that's the granddaddy of the whole industry. Right. Um, and by being a miner, you're helping to support that whole network. Um, so it's it's been really great to be part of that. Uh, the, the, the next line of revenue for us that's to me very significant and also critically important is education so blockchain training alliance we acquired them about a year and a half ago approximately mm -hmm. and we're really proud of what they are and also what we've been able to accomplish with them and what the path forward looks like uh, with growth with with bta but the reason we were interested in them is they they've been around they started in 2017 um, they probably train more uh, Fortune 500 companies than anybody out there that I know of anyway. Mm. And I can list names like uh, Deloitte and Disney and HP and Microsoft and the U.S. government, many departments, Veterans Administration, the FDA, et cetera. We've trained overseas, KLM Airlines. Mm. Uh, we've trained the government in uh, the UAE. We've, tra we've done training in Singapore. So it's got this foundation that i believe is second to none mm -hmm. um and that will dovetail into our conversation about why it's so important and the exponentially growing uh space that we're in and exponentially growing attention from big companies like that and we are absolutely in the right place to to ride that ride that wave um, yeah. and actually i'll say they lead that wave so um we deliver a section into two areas and then divide those into two. The first thing is we have our enterprise training and that is all the companies I just mentioned. Um, that's one line of business. The second line of business is individuals. So it's individuals that show up to take our classes to learn about blockchain and all things blockchain. We have a number of courses. Some of those courses are one hour and some of them are 30 hours. Um, most of on that side is pre-recorded, So you can take the course at your own leisure, but we also offer live instructor led might be two day, three day course you sign up for, and it's literally live classes over zoom. Um, so that's the array there, but then that divides into two and that is technical and non-technical, which is really important. There's, let's talk about technical. There's a lot of web two developers out there that are coming to realize that in web three and blockchain and all, you know, metaverse NFTs, um, or that whole world, there's a lot of work needed there. And there's not enough people that, that know how to do that work. So it's a great place to, to build your career. So we teach that technical side, but we also do non-technical, which is for everybody else. And that's project management, project development, the architecture of a blockchain project. That That's all more call it creative business side. Um, so we do both of those on the side of individuals and we do both of those on the side of enterprises. Sometimes we'll go into the enterprises and help them with, call it coding of mm -hmm. blockchains, whether it's getting their team started, getting their teams to grow in a particular direction in various ways. But we also go in and we will speak to their C-suite or their management that they might be hearing from their staff that they should be involved in this, but they don't know the first thing about it. So oftentimes we'll get called in and say, hey, educate them. Might be one day, might be five days, Makes but sense. you know, get them as deep as you can and build their interest in it. So that so they that the company will adopt what's coming next with blockchain. 
Yeah, you know, um, this is a very, very important thing right now, too, because blockchain is is a technology and it does require a, a decent amount of starter knowledge, especially in the in its current iteration. Now, it's gotten more user friendly and such versus, in, you know, in the, in the coming years. But there's still a lot you need to learn before you should really be transacting in it. And especially before you should be doing any sort of business on it in terms of building your own blockchain, even just launching your own token or anything like that. So it's a definitely an integral service there to kind of bring people people on board. So from there, if you can talk to me about like with that, talk to me about the, the paths to revenue tied to that consulting education side of things. Yeah. So we've, we've, uh, you know, we, we took the company that actually was hindered somewhat during COVID because I used to do all mostly live training and fly instructors around the world and do that, that obviously shut down. So we went to live on zoom primarily, and that was a big transition. And then when we acquired them, we went in and said, okay, how do we enhance these strengths that have been built? Mm -hmm. And has to do with as simple as SEO marketing, um, all kinds of uh, digital marketing. I refer to it as because you have SEO, you've got social, you got all these things. I just put it under one bucket bucket of uh, digital marketing. So we've we've initiated some, I think, some great efforts to enhance that side, to build the business and build obviously build the revenues. Mm -hmm. um, also, on the enterprise side. Most of that enterprise either came through relationships or incoming to us because of who we are. Mm -hmm. While that's wonderful, we we haven't exercised the outbound that's available, which I think is monstrous because the Fortune 500 companies are phenomenal, but almost every single company, that might be an exaggeration. Let's just take it down to 50% of all companies have a need to understand crypto and blockchain Agreed. to either put in their business now or monitor it with some knowledge so they know when and they know what's happening. And if a competitor of theirs is doing it, they somewhat understand it. So it's a massive market out there. And I would suggest that, in my opinion, we're number one when it comes to having the pedigree, the reputation, the courses, the instructors. Uh, I, 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 the, the feedback we get from all these companies and things that take our courses is pretty phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. so, so we have the quality product. So by by going and doing the outreach we can lean on that and that's that's why i think building that avenue is going to be pretty amazing and then the other thing is we've done we do some consulting but it hasn't been a main focus for us and consulting what's the difference between just educating and consulting consulting we can actually help people design departments build mm -hmm. products strategize for their exact needs on what to do or what to build based on their unique circumstances. And we we always have the uh, personnel to do that and the the, the knowledge to do that, um, but we haven't really gone after it. And that is one of the things we've just started doing. And um, I'm, I'm really excited by that because there's kind of no limits. I mean, if you think of some of the big consulting companies and look at the size of them, um, that's what's capable, you know, pretty massive contracts. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of sitting there in, in a very, very strong position to be able to go down that road. Yeah, and um, I, I would say you mentioned fifty percent of companies will have to have at least a somewhat of a basic knowledge. That number, I think, of companies will climb up as the years go on to close to a hundred percent. Just my vision on things, Ron. But um, uh, kind of, I'm glad to hear you say that because I hesitated. I I, I picked a random fifty percent number. The main reason is those of us that know a lot about crypto and blockchain know that number is far higher. Yeah, but. If you don't know about blockchain, you hear me say it's 70, 80, 90% number, you're probably going to roll your eyes. Yeah. Right? So right. the fact is, even if I said 20 or 30%, but it's of all companies, you can imagine the amount of business that's available for us. Okay. So that, I was making the point, but I, Michael, I loved your response and I concur completely. <laughs> yeah, so I guess before we go, Ron, moving on, is there any real competitors you guys have in this space? Or um, what would you say that really just makes you exalted or stick out versus other people in the space? Um. And I think I think for that, I will really lean on the quality of our content. Mm -hmm. If you really want to learn, you need to do it A, B, C, D, right? You, you, you've got to you've got to go down a structured course to do that, mm -hmm. to really understand it. Because there's people, I had a friend of mine recently, and he's been in the business for 10 years. He's launched projects and something happened in his life and he called me up and he started taking some of our classes. And he said to me, that's the missing piece. He said, I never understood the security side. I never understood how to code this stuff. And he's taking, by the way, non-technical, but yeah. he's he's looking at it and he's going, there's a certain foundation I never had. Now that I have it, I can do so much more. 
So we do structured courses. We have certifications. Those certifications, I believe, are very valuable. If you want a job or you're building a career to have a BTA certified in a particular course, uh, I think it's really valuable. So it's that structured learning, which is what started the company, by the way. It, was, it really started from a lot of experience in how to do structured learning. People are tempted and they want to go to YouTube and you know other mediums like that to get people telling them things. Yeah. And while that's fine, and there's certainly a million choices, usually they're selling something. Usually there's a reason they're pitching what they're pitching and why. Mm -hmm. And we're selling our courses. We're all about them being great. So for, for delivery to quote unquote you. So I think it's different. And I think you can bounce around for days, weeks, or months in YouTube. And I don't think you can get the knowledge you can get from our four hour, six hour, 10 hour course. So if you're really serious about understanding this, whether it be to implement in your own company, to implement in the company you work for now, to design your own project, or you're just super curious, if you invest those hours and quite honestly, the you know the funds, which in my mind, our courses are very inexpensive for what it is we uh, deliver. Um, I think if you invest that, you'll never look back. And many of our people go from one course to another to another. Yeah, very well said. I would say, and I mean, a good analogy would be: you can go on YouTube, someone can show you how to play "Smoke on the Water," but you should probably still learn a little bit of music theory before diving in. So I, I would kind of make that analogous to it. But I guess, Ron, last but not least, let me get one more bonus question out of you: What's really in store for twenty twenty three? Twenty twenty three is uh, is tomorrow, right? I mean, we're yeah. kind of right there, right? We're two months off, and with the holidays, hopefully, we all take a deep breath and do uh, more of the family stuff and I'll try and uh, reassess and reanalyze, which is what I do every year. And when I look at 2023, I, I, I couldn't be more excited about it. The, the industry is growing. If you, if you focus on the price of Bitcoin, we all know that that's been, you know, uh, languishing quite a bit. And a lot of people may look at that and think there's not much excitement and that's probably accurate. But if you look at the industry of projects on blockchain that serve real utilities and real companies, there's a lot of money coming into that space. There's a lot of building going on. And you all will be using products two, three, four years from now that are being developed right now and on into 23. And we see ourselves as a large part of that, um, keeping people educated. We're now designing courses for specific blockchains so engineers can leave 2.0 and go design on these blockchains. Like that's a whole ecosystem that's coming around. So um I, I just think between that and the consulting that we've we've uh we've pushed into um i see a lot of growth a lot of growth wonderful well ron thank you again for coming on pleasure chatting with you as always and if anyone has any questions obviously don't be afraid to send them over don't be shy ron please um any last words actually before we go not really, Michael. You always you always cover the bases, and I really thank you for it. And once again, everybody, thank you for your time. That's the one thing we never have enough of. You uh, gave away some minutes here to, to, to listen to this, and I really appreciate it. Very well said. Please have a wonderful day.